Hey, and welcome back to The Revolution and some more WWE 2K19 news. As earlier this week, we received some exclusive information regarding this year's Collector's Edition featuring the one and only, the Nature Boy Ric Flair. This year's Collector's Edition, aptly titled The Woo Edition, will be themed around Ric Flair's historic WWE career with 30,000 copies available to purchase for the price of $129.99. Speaking on the announcement, Ric Flair had the following to say. For all my fans around the world, it's exciting and humbling to see my career immortalised through the power of video games. This is going to be one styling, profiling, limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling and dealing son of a collector's edition and you don't want to miss out. Woo! <laughs> so you might be asking yourselves, what does this edition actually include and is it worth the price? Well, let us enlighten you. First up is the deluxe edition of WWE 2K19, which includes all the DLC already announced for this year's game, including both Ronda Rousey and Rey Mysterio, as well as several exclusive DLC as part of this year's collector's edition. The first of the exclusive DLC packs is an 80s inspired Hall of Famers pack featuring the rowdy Roddy Piper, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and the American Dream Dusty Rhodes. Also included are exclusive versions of both Macho Man Randy Savage and The Undertaker sporting their respective WrestleMania ties from both WrestleMania 8 and WrestleMania 18, in which both superstars had matches with Ric Flair on the grandest stage of them all. Finally, we switched to the Flair family itself with exclusive attires for both Ric and Charlotte Flair, both sporting their signature blue WrestleMania robes as seen at WrestleMania 24 and Charlotte's iteration at WrestleMania 32. Next up, we switch our focus to this year's physical items, which quite frankly are quite possibly the best physical bonuses to date. First up is a pretty damn amazing WWE Hall of Fame replica ring which I have to say came as a huge surprise and I for one can't wait to get my hands or rather my finger on this one. With this awesome item you too can be part of the Hall of Fame and I don't know if it gets any better than that. Up next is an exclusive Ric Flair Nature Boy inspired Funko Pop vinyl and I have to say for me this is an absolute must as I'm a Funko Pop vinyl mega fan or as my mum likes to say, an addict. <laughs> so I just know I have to get my hands on this beauty. Last up, and by no means least, is a commemorative plaque featuring a piece of fabric from one of Ric Flair's many iconic robes coming in either pink or purple. In the past, 2 k have gave away many pieces of commemorative fabric from various wrestling events on collector's cards. So this is a huge step up in fan service and is sure to make an awesome display for any wrestling fan. Now, I know this item might not be for everyone, especially some of our younger gamers, so so anyone who doesn't want their piece of fabric, send it over to me and maybe I can somehow sew them all together and make my own very special Nature Boy Raw. <laughs> if that's not all, finally the last items to be included in this year's Collector's Edition are WWE Supercard content related. With fans receiving the limited edition WWE 2K19 AJ Styles card and AJ themed card back as well as Ric Flair and Charlotte Flair limited edition cards with a Ric Flair themed WWE 2K19 card back. Well that's a hell of a lot of stuff and if those goodies don't persuade you to pre-order this year's Collector's Edition, I honestly don't know what will. This year's Collector's Edition is quite arguably the best to date and there is no doubt that you get more than enough for your money. I do have to admit that while cool additions to the game, the chances of me personally using Roddy Piper, Dusty Rhodes and the rest of the legends are very slim, but it is cool to see Roddy especially returning to the series since 2K16. When it comes to the physical content, however, this year's items seriously blow the ball out of the pack, and I just can't wait to put my Hall of Fame replica ring and Funko Pop on display. I do absolutely love what 2K have done with this year's Collects Edition, but I do think that they've missed out on a huge opportunity by not making this year's edition a Women's Evolution centric collector's edition. With all the marketing and media around the Women's Evolution over the last few months and these yet to be announced all women's pay-per-view evolution, the time to make a female centric collector's edition would and should have been now. Women's wrestling is at its pink right now and if there was ever a time to have a female cover star or collector's edition, this should have been it. Especially with the resurgence of the May Young Classic, the Women's Royal Rumble, Hell in a Cell, the Women's Pay-Per-View. It should have been now, and while I do love this year's Collector's Edition, 
It just feels like this moment's been lost. I don't just say that as a huge women's wrestling fan, but the marketing and promotion is right there for 2K to snatch up, and I can't help but feel that if this takes place next year, it'll be a little too late, and it won't have that same feeling as it would right now. As I say that, I do love this year's collector's edition, and it is definitely the best to date, so I don't want to take any thing away from that, because it is a great collector's edition, but like I say, I do wish it was a women's revolution, or evolution as it's come to be, kind of edition. But let's face it, we get a Charlotte Flair rub, so there is something to take away for all you female wrestling fans. Not to mention that Hall of Fame replica ring, and the Funko Pop vinyl. And then, like I say, if you do want to send over your fabrics, send them over and maybe you can make some like patchwork rub. <laughs> all joking aside, I want to know what you make of this year's collector's edition and if you plan to purchase this awesome collector's edition. Let us know in the comments below what you think of the woo <laughs> edition and which item is your personal favourite and maybe send a few woos in the comments too. <laughs> Be sure to stay tuned to The Revolution for plenty of upcoming women's roster content in the coming weeks. And until next time, woo! <laughs>